The home cooks are racing to finish an iconic comfort dish, fried chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy. The person with the weakest dish will be eliminated. Michael's just added a copious amount of flour to his gravy. It's more lumpy that way. Michael, sieve that stock out, brother. Yeah, it's gonna be through a sieve. It should work out fine. Perfect. Yeah, consistency looks good. I like it. 15 minutes, you have 15 minutes left. So it looks like they've got the chicken just going into the fryers right now. Oh, it's hot. The breast, if it's deboned, will cook very, very quickly, almost like a chicken finger. Never fried a whole breast. The timing's gonna be key for that. The thighs and the drumstick, if the bone is still left on, it's gonna take a little bit longer to cook, probably about another five to six minutes. If you undercook it and you cut open a piece of chicken and there's still blood at the core of it or oh, yeah. up against the bone, yeah. it is the worst. Michael's got his first piece out already. Why is he doing the chicken in different stages? I'm frying my chicken one at a time just so that they don't get mangled in between each other and they have different cook times. I took one of my drumsticks and I did check the cook on it and it was a bit raw. So I left the chicken in longer. Two minutes, two minutes. You should be throwing the plate by now. Delicious fried chicken, mashed potato, and gravy. And you have to get it to the front before time's up. Lynn, Lynn, Lynn you're, you're on fire. fire. Lynn, you're on fire. Oh. Wow. Fire, no fire, there's no way I'm going home. As long as my food wasn't on fire, I'm good with it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands up. Wow. Our plates look so similar. Standing in front of our plates, I can tell my plate is really strong. I'm pretty nervous. There's uh, six of us left, and by the end of this, there's going to be five. Hey there, Lynn. Has your fried chicken dinner turned out as you'd hoped? Yes, chef. What is the seasoning that you put into your crust, your dredge? Oregano, thyme, rosemary, cayenne pepper, paprika, salt and pepper. That's exactly what I want to hear the crispiness of it. I'm gonna try the thicker piece of breast. You happy with that? I'm very happy with that, Chef. That's definitely cooked. You can see some of the steam coming out of it now. It's moist and glistening right there. Yes, Chef. I think it's very good. Thank you. It's got a great crunch to it. The flavor of the dredge does not overpower the delicate flavors of the chicken. Great execution on the chicken breast, that's for sure. Thank you, Chef. And the gravy? A little on the blonde side, maybe? A little lighter? Yes, Chef. That's the way my daughters like their gravy. But the taste is there, Chef. And you're right. The taste is there with that gravy. It's light, it's sweet. The mashed potatoes, however, there's definitely some lumps in there. Yes. Not as smooth as I would have hoped. Not bad for 45 minutes. Definitely comfort food cuisine. Thank you. Lynn. Yes, chef. Dark meat is always the most difficult to get right. What do I expect to see when I cut into this? I expect you to see juices flowing out, nice and succulent and tender with a crispy exterior. That, to me, is perfectly cooked. Wow, it's tender, it's juicy, it's well seasoned. That is a piece of perfect fried chicken. Thank you, chef. My daughters would be very proud of me right now, so it feels amazing. Sabrina, so who would you cook this for? My brother, my brother-in-law, my boyfriend. Well, it looks good. Do you think this is perfectly cooked? I'm hoping it is. Wow. Yeah. You nailed it, eh? You can see how tender that is. Look at the juice is flowing out. What's in it? What did you do? Uh, buttermilk hot sauce as a bath, and then the dredge is cornmeal, flour, some paprika, oregano, cayenne, garlic, and onion powders. You got the seasoning, the right amount of spices, the crispiness. This 
is something I would have every day. Okay, I'm gonna try the drumstick. You happy with the way that's cooked? I'm really happy with the way that's cooked. I think you should be. You had a panic look on your face there for a second. It's good crunch. <laughs> hmm. That, Sabrina, is pure southern comfort. Wonderful crunch. Beautiful. Did you try the gravy? I did. And you were happy with it? I was, Chef. Hmm. That surprises me. I find the taste to be a little unpleasant. Maybe it's just a little too much of the roux. I don't get that light, sweeter note. Flavors are not quite right for me. I'm terrified of losing. I'm scared of failure. I think it's why I set my standards for myself so high. This looks amazing. It sounds amazing. It's very crispy. Now for the true test. Is this dish cooked properly? I hope it is. <laughs> Look at that. It's moist. I squeeze a little bit and see some of the juices kind of collecting there. That's perfection. Hmm. Michael, that's amazing. That chicken breast, it doesn't get much better. Let's taste this piece of chicken leg. 